data model data transform okay, okay. so here i will write what suppose um, load data transform what will I write in capture <coughs> capture yes leave create so I'll refresh it once okay then didn't save it, it was the program. Okay, I got an error because I didn't add anything. Okay, now let's see here. This is action is called set, okay. So there will be all these things predefined by Pega. Now normal thing, basic thing that we'll be using is set. To set a value. Okay. Okay. okay, remove, update, page, apply, apply data transfer. If we want to call any other data transfer, if we have two data transfer, we want to call anything, we'll apply, use apply. I'll teach you this one also, okay. okay. I want to sort, comment, when, okay. rule, okay. So now let's give, use the basic thing set. What is my first thing here? In the, let's, let me open the section. So let me set this first name, okay. So for setting, see, this is the target where I want to set it. This is the name of the value with what I want to set it. So target let me give dot. Okay. So first mm -hmm. name. Source what I want to give. Source if I want to give. Suppose I want to give let me give. Please enter. Name okay. Okay. By default, then what will be the second year coming? Second, <coughs> let me give the age, leave it. Let me uh, initialize the gender, okay? So, gender is already initialized. Uh, let me initialize this one, this state property, okay? So, state, I think I'll be having certain values, right? I have not given default value here, so let me see what are the default values for state that I have given so state I have Texas let me initialize to FL okay, okay. So what I'll give dot I have to call the state property and I'll initiate I have to give quotes and I have to give FL okay Next, let me initialize. Let me initialize the uh, marks. Okay, this one is done. State. What is it? Let me initialize this one to dot scc. Okay. So be initialized. Let SCC is initialized to 100. Let me initialize this one. Let me initialize this dot grad. Okay. So dot grad. Let me initialize this one to 80. Okay. See, for number, I won't give post. Okay. Let me keep it like this. Okay. Now. You can go here, let me refresh it once. You can see data model, right? And you can see the data transform. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, see, there are two things. This is the flow action, correct? So you see from here, when my flow will run from this green shape, it will go here. 
So this is the assignment. Assignment, anyone asks you in an interview about the assignment shape, you have to tell assignment will only start only when there is user interference in the application. That means user is going to enter some data. Correct. Yeah. So when this flow, this thing will run, we'll be calling the flow action. Correct. This is that one. Mm -hmm. So in the flow action, you can see I'm calling the section. Correct. Mm -hmm. And here there is something called action. Okay. okay. So if you see down, you can see pre-processing before this action, post-processing after this action. Correct. Okay. So pre-processing before this action means like before this flow action executes, completes. Flow action is what? Flow action is that. Mm -hmm. See, I would like to tell you one thing. This is the my section, right? My UI. Are you seeing submit button anywhere? No. No, right? So, but when I ran this flow, right, you are able to submit, see a submit button, right? I submitted the values, right? Yeah. So this question people might ask you and they, have, they ask in few interviews, like, there, is there any submit button in Pega we need to run when we run a flow? So this answer is the submit button is nothing but the flow action. Okay. Okay, so the flow action is like when we complete the first start the assignment shape, the flow action, if you see, this one is the flow action, correct? That means this flow action is any is in a way the submit button which will be calling this section so once this section is executed once we enter the values in this section we'll be clicking the submit button correct so yeah. how the action thing comes up in action you can see pre-processing before this section and post-processing okay so pre-processing is the one that will get executed when the page is loaded and what comes there on the page on the screen before we click a submit button Okay. And post processing is nothing but once you click the submit button, whatever comes that is called post processing. So okay. You have any doubt here? Uh, no. Yeah, action like the. I mean the actions we. I mean. Okay. Anyway. Like you remember in a sense like action will be the one which will be taken care when we complete the flow action. So there'll be in there'll be two types of action always. Pre-processing and post-processing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actions will be of two types, pre and post. So pre will be taken pre will be the one getting executed before the submit button, post after the submit button. Okay. 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 So it's in that way. So data transform see now I want to load my page with the data transform correct so what I'll do I'll call this data. if I give down arrow I can get this data transform I'll add this data transform here okay, okay. then I'll give the save button I should get it from here also I'll go to the flow, okay? I'll go to the flow, go to actions, I'll run it. Here, find the step. You can see enter a valid email ID. Yeah. See, your this page got loaded. You can see right. Please enter name FL eighty. Okay. You saw right. So, now I would like to show you one more thing. Now did I click the submit? This submit button is coming. Now I didn't click submit, right? As of now. 
Now let me check the clipboard how it looks. Okay, so clipboard I have to refresh it once because I loaded a few things. Okay. I'll go back one. I'll select C21. I'll go to PY work page. Okay, I'll select PY work page. So what is coming here? Whatever I entered, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. yeah. So you understood this one, right? This logic. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. If I go back, let me change this one again to A, B, C, D. This one, let me change to NZ. This one, let me change to True. This one, let me change to 50. And this one, let me change to the beginning 100. Okay, I have entered. I have not clicked Submit. Okay. Let me go here. Let me refresh this one once again. Then I'll refresh this one once oh. again from here, C21. You have to refresh from here, okay, C21, always. Okay. Then let me go here, PUI work page. Let me click this page. What is it coming? ABC false, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. So it is getting saved. Now, when I go back here and if I submit it, no. I have to click this something here. Okay, now you can see C21. There you go. You can see here, right? All the new values getting posted. So you understood, right? Before we so pre-action is something which will get executed before click of a submit button. Okay, post action is after click of a submit button. Okay, and this is the basic data transform. Okay. okay. So suppose you want to change any values after click of submit button, where will we put it? Where will we put this data transform? Yeah. What? After I click the submit button, I want this is before click of a submit button. Now, if I want. Yeah. Something to be changed after click of a submit button. Where will I put this data transform? Tell me. Can you tell? Post processing. Yeah, I'll put it here. Okay. Yeah. So that's same. Okay. So before saving also, you get change in the clipboard, right? Yeah, before saving also, you can change it. Before clicking the submit button also, we are having changes in the clipboard. Yeah, 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 you can change. So clipboard is something what you know. So, okay. See, whatever this page is there, right, UI. So whenever user is something sending okay. here, changing, it will be changed in the clipboard as and when. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. That is about the clipboard. So now data transform, as of data transform, I'd like to show you apply data transform, how apply data transform will do, okay. Now. We have here some items. Support data. I'll write another data transform. Okay. Mm -hmm. New data transform. Okay. Now here, now let me set the date of birth, okay? Let me set the date of birth. Let me set the date of birth 1, 1, 2016. I have to see whether it accepts this format or not. So next, let me change another one.
Well, let me go here. Okay, okay. Okay, I can apply like this. Got it? Okay. So if suppose you want to comment something, then you can give comment here only for and if you want to give a pen to these are very high higher concepts, these are like above CSA. Okay. So for CSA, this is the one for CSA. For CSA, these are update page. Okay, I don't have pages, oh, so you can show you when suppose if you want to give a when rule. So you can if you want to give a when rule, suppose like uh, when the first name let me create a when rule here. Decision when okay. So Create this when okay. Condition I can give. Age will be set to 30. Will there be any Java related questions in the interview? Java related they won't ask now actually. Pega they have like whatever we little bit Java was there, they have changed everything in Pega so they won't ask Java related questions. Okay. You can do everything in Pega nowadays so you need of Java. Like yeah, if you know suppose if I have two applications right two different applications and I want to get some data from one application to my application okay so that is like through connecting two applications right so what happens now in Java right that will take around like two three days so in Pega that will require just three hours okay so they have like inbuilt lot of things don't know what this So when rule you can see there are two things condition and advance advance if you want to use A or M logic.
to an age equal to 25 let me put an age equal to 25 then let me use this data transform So you know how to add right if I want to put here right click or one more option right click add sibling above add sibling below okay suppose if I want to add and if I want to add below then this is the option okay so there are two three options in Pega okay it's your wish how you want to proceed okay so okay. what I'll do I'll add a web rule here quickly so let me open this did I make any changes I don't think so yeah fine so I'll quickly Put it here, add sibling above, put a when rule here, then I can call the when rule here, okay? If I give down arrow, I can call this when rule. So, okay. if the age is equal to 25, mm -hmm. then what I will do, age is equal to 25, and the, let me set the date of birth to let me just do one thing. Set the data of birth. So you are are you seeing one thing? I'll delete this too, okay. You are seeing this is coming under this one, right? Under when rule. You're seeing yeah. this, right? So if I want to come out of this when rule, I have to click here and I have to add a step here. Got it? Okay, okay. okay. If I no, this is for coming inside when rule. Now if I want to come out, yeah. I have to click here. Okay. I have to click here. Okay. No. Okay. So now you understood, right? See. Yeah, I understand. So if I am following this step, then I'll be inside the when rule. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll add one more set, I'll add one more condition, that is, I added a grad thing, or masters I didn't add, no masters let me add, let me put 60, okay, and let me put one more thing, that is, last name is, Okay, this is for if age is 25, okay? Now, okay. let me put this, what warning did they give? Is ambiguous, okay, see. Now, you just tell me what is the error is. Okay, you didn't, like, string, it's a string, right? It's two semicolons. Yeah, so columns. I have to put inside columns. Because if I had a, had a page property, it wouldn't have thrown an error. So when you save, if it's frozen, that means it didn't get saved properly. You got it. So now yeah. I won't apply it here. I'll call this data transform in the uh, this thing flow action. Okay. So flow action will always be under UI. Remember, okay. Mm -hmm. This is also an important question. Flow will under be process. Flow action under UI. Okay. So now. This is one data transform that I added here. Let me add this data transform on the post processing. Okay. okay. Let me save it. Let me go here to this flow. Let me run it now. Check what it is showing. Let me check it. <coughs> get a first name, let me get a last name, and then to get the email address. Okay. Then we get create. Then I have my page has got loaded okay then I'll go to the clipboard I'll go and you can see a different distinct right C22 
I'll go down. What was the page? Py work page. Okay, so the py work page is blank, right? And I have not refreshed it. I need to. I can open clipboard one second. Not a problem. I can open from here. You can see py work page is ready. Okay. So let me put the age is twenty five because I put the definition there. Okay. You're seeing the change now. Yeah. See, I added 25, right? For 25, what date of birth I added first? Yeah, first. I added 2 1 2016. Yeah. But okay, yeah. it got saved as 1 1 because, and my post processing submit, right? It got added yeah. as 1 1. Okay. okay. Now, how much master smart I put? I, put, I didn't put anything, right? Yeah. Last name, did I put anything? Did I put anything? Yeah. Yeah. So you can try this way. I can show you one more time. So this is called post processing. Okay. So first name let me put ABC. Last name let me put uh, DEF. Correct? Age I will have to put 25 because I want a condition to get executed. Last name let me put 12-12-2016. Correct? Okay. Masters let me put 100. Let me put 100 for all. This one also let me put 100. Correct? Okay. Now let me go down and let me save this. Okay, what is the work object? 23, right? So if you see C23 here, and if you go down to PY work page, so I did add this one, right? I added 12, 12. I added 100, 100 here, but I didn't add, I add master, I added masters as 102. Yeah. And I added last name as DEF, right? Yeah. So it got changed to XY. Yeah. And yeah. this all is happening because of this data transform here. That I could execute okay. here, this one. Yeah. You understood? So, the yeah. main thing is pre-action, pre post-action. So whatever we are going to put in the pre-action are going to execute before submit. Before submit. And whatever we are going to uh, put uh, after the in the post-action, they are going to be executed after click of a submit button. Yeah. Okay, so that's the complete thing about data transform and how to see the table structure. Okay. So, do you have any doubt in these two things? No, understood, right? Okay, so uh, yeah. actually, the pin, I mean, the notes you have sent me, right? I mean, the notepad you have sent me. Yeah. In, I guess, in some. Uh, give me a minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it says it says like uh, you have data pages, node level, thread level, request uh, and all. We didn't actually go through those actually. Oh, I sent you the wrong note pattern. I think. Uh, in the second class. Second class, I sent you. Pattern. I think I sent you the wrong note yeah. pattern. Maybe. 
I okay. So I gone to, gone through that and that, that we need to go through. We have not gone through that. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. I put that a second class or what? No, actually, in the second class, this we have one. some text in the last. That's it. This one, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no level. I did send you this one. Yeah, you sent me this one only. Where is the no level? Scroll down. Down. Yeah, there, data page. Okay, okay, okay. This one actually, I didn't teach you what. Okay, yeah, this one I'll tell. Database, I have a thing class already. The, that will be done in the second last class. Now you have like around validate rule topic is there, activity is there, data type pages is there. So it is you have like around four or five topics still there to be covered. Okay. So at least you so understood the basic application, right? How to build it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that for if they ask you in any interview how will you build an application, you will be easily able to tell them now, right? From scratch yeah. how to do. Yeah. Because they won't be asking you these things like how to go here, build a new application. I told you all these things, but they won't be asking you these things, okay? The okay. thing that they'll be asking you is for building an application, how are you going to start? So first things you know, how will you do it? making the properties, mm -hmm. data model. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the first thing you should tell. So first, before that, you should tell them, I need to have the structure. So okay. when the structure comes up, how will you tell them? So how will you tell them like the structure if, if you tell them, okay, I before building any application, I need the class structure, correct? So, mm -hmm. You have to tell them like, okay, I need the organizational structure, implementation layer, data layer. Then you can tell them, then after creating the class structure, I'll be making the data model. So you, you have to tell them, I'll be making the properties. What are the properties I need for the application? And once my properties are done, then I can start off with the UI design. Correct. Okay. Once my UI design is done, then you can tell them, I will create the flow and I'll create the flow action. Mm -hmm. Once the flow action is done, then I will work on all the visibility rules, the UI validations. Okay. Yeah. Then once that is done, I will work on the data transform part. Correct. Okay. After data transform, we are going to pass, go into the validation rules. How to work on validation rules. Okay. Validate rule is nothing but I'll be putting, I'll be, I'll be calling it from flow action itself. See, the main thing is, you know what, the main logic lies in the flow, flow action section only, these three things. Okay. okay. Whatever we'll be doing will be from these three things only. Everything will be called from these three things only. You know, validate rule we are going to put here, only here. Once we, once we learn validate rule, we'll be putting it, just calling it from here. Okay. So it's, once we have the activity, we'll call it from here. So everything is all about like calling, okay, we'll just create the rules, but we'll call from here itself, flow action itself, okay. because flow action is nothing but the submit thing, right, submitting a page. Yeah. Okay, okay. so okay. this is only the basic thing, so they won't ask you much, because see many of the people who had an interview, they don't even know how to build a basic application. So apart from these things, you can see that if you want interview questions, I can send you once the classes are over. I have okay. several interview questions I can send you. Yeah, like I can say like I'm far better now. Yeah. What I've learned is completely different from what I'm, I'm getting through this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing is like uh, you apply to the gang board, right? So gang board, what they do is like their course is like uh, this thing, your crash course type of thing, okay. So they are, they are not designed that thing for neither for CSA nor for your PEGA interview, okay. It's like for, just get the basic idea of PEGA, how application runs, how to build a small application, okay. But in India, yeah. if you come and see, even in Hyderabad, you can go and see, they'll have special classes for CSA, special classes for interview purpose. So, if you go okay, and okay. you go in those classes, no, 
even 10 days 12 days is more than enough because you feel kind of confident that is the thing i don't know what i have heard and i've seen those things so you can just learn to even you first create a pdm this thing for that yeah i'll do it today mega pdm thing so once you create it then